Hello friends, welcome to an interesting tutorial in antennas and wave propagation. We'll talk about principle of pattern multiplication today. Uh, this principle will help us in finding the radiation pattern of an array and that too very quickly. So that's the uh, charming point of this principle that it will help us predict the radiation pattern of an array and how does it do that uh, we'll need to see that the statement is written over here I'll tell you a few key points in the statements but it's better if we discuss this uh, with a suitable example so let us say I have an array of five horn antennas and they are separated by a distance of uh, D let us say from each other and we wish to calculate the radiation pattern of this array we know that horn antenna itself is a directional antenna but we wish to calculate the radiation pattern of the uh, array of horn antenna separated by a distance of D without any phase shift so that is the problem in hand and how does the principle of pattern multiplication can help us it says that it is easy to calculate the array if you know the pattern of the individual antenna so this is the first requirement that you need to know and so if you have made this array then you you must know the uh, radiation pattern of an individual or the constituent element of this array and the constituent uh, antenna of this array is horn antenna so you, you should be aware of the radiation pattern of that individual antenna so that becomes our first key point the element pattern so if you take out one antenna out of your array do you know the radiation pattern of that individual antenna if yes then you can use this principle and the second requirement is the array pattern of isotropic point sources each located at the phase center of the individual sources what does that mean and that will be known as array pattern by the way so what we need to do is we need to replace these antennas with isotropic point sources and these isotropic point sources should be located at the phase center of the individual sources and by the way the phase center for horn antenna is the foci so uh, the distance between them still remains the same so what we have now is we have these five isotropic point sources being replaced uh, so these horn antennas are being replaced by these isotropic point sources and now if you can find the radiation pattern of these five isotropic point sources which is a classical case of five isotropic point sources separated by the same distance and no phase shift so it's a broadside array case so if if you know the array pattern of these isotropic point sources that will be your second um, thing in the pattern multiplication requirement the array pattern so the pattern of one constituent element in the array is known as Fe in space and pattern obtained upon replacing all those actual elements by isotropic sources is the second thing and if you multiply these two then we get the radiation pattern of the array so how does it look like so we have the unit pattern uh, the unit pattern of this horn antenna is something of this sort and the the broadside case of five isotropic sources separated by distance of lambda here um, we've taken up a random case of lambda so we know that this becomes uh, the major lobe it is directional we get side lobes when the number of elements increase so this becomes the group pattern and if we multiply these two we get the resultant which shall look something like this 
so even if you know the mathematically also if you know the mathematical expression for this unit pattern the radiation pattern exp expression for this unit pattern and the radiation pattern expression for this group pattern then you can simply multiply those two expressions to get the resultant of this array and now this is a classical case of uh, the elements in an array being non-isotropic but you can also get a question where you may be asked to find the uh, radiation pattern of isotropic sources uh, using pattern multiplication although you know how to calculate it using broadside array method technique and end fire array method techniques but let us say you get a case where four isotropic point sources are there they are separated by a distance d and uh, they do not have any phase shift between them how do you do that now from the discussion so far you'll be tempted to uh, find the unit pattern by taking up this isotropic point source as an individual element so you would want to take the individual element as this point source and that point source will have a spherical um, radiation pattern but that's not going to help us so what is the task number one that we have in hand so we have to obtain unit patterns and we need to select those unit patterns very cleverly so that's the key point here so instead of selecting the unit pattern as just one isotropic source what we do is we take up two isotropic sources and we consider them as one unit pattern and we know that if two isotropic point sources are separated by a distance of lambda by 2 with no phase shift we get a radiation pattern like this so in other words my first unit pattern becomes 1 and 2 my second unit pattern becomes 3 and 4 so individually 1 and 2 would have given me this radiation pattern and 3 and 4 would have given me this radiation pattern so half of my work is done I've gotten my unit pattern and the task number two is to find out the group pattern now we need to replace this antenna which is 1 and 2 and this antenna 3 and 4 by isotropic sources and that to look at it at its phase center so if we consider 1 and 2 and if you want to replace it with one isotropic source which is located at its phase center so that will be located right in the middle right at the center so that is lambda by 4 from 2 and similarly the isotropic point source that needs to replace 3 and 4 will be located at a distance of lambda by 4 from 3 so if this source is a and this source is b they b become separated by a distance of lambda because uh, 2 and 3 are separated by a distance of lambda by 2 so two isotropic point sources separated by a distance of lambda will yield us this radiation pattern and the principle of pa pattern multiplication says that unit pattern into group pattern will give me my resultant pattern so finally the statement says unit pattern into group pattern gives me total pattern and the total pattern is of course a directional um, radiation pattern in 90 and 270 degrees with the number of side lobes so that is how we can quickly uh, predict the radiation patterns of uh, antenna arrays using this technique known as principle of pattern multiplication and i hope this uh, quick tutorial was of help if you liked the video give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel i'll make more such videos in the future and thank you for uh, watching this video have a great day ahead and a great life bye